hot day for those events. Mm -hmm. Certainly was. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get the rain here in the Champlain Valley. A lot of us missed out on that, but there were some haves and have nots. We'll get a lot of a lot more of it next week, though. I know your lawn is probably hoping for some, Brian. I'm screaming for it. Screaming, screaming for, for it. it. <laughs> well, those uh, prayers might be answered next week, but certainly not for now. Most of the storm reports that we saw today were well south and east of the area, but you see one right there just east of Burlington. That was actually southwest of the Jericho Center, right near North Williston, just east of Vermont Route 117. We had a downburst earlier. Damaging winds took down some trees, caused a power outage right around 5.53 p.m. and we can actually see on radar what the downburst looked like. Now what this is is wind speed and direction with respect to the radar which is right there uh, between Burlington and Colchester. Now this portion of the storm is moving toward the radar while this other eastern side of it moves away from the radar. So what that tells us is the air from the storm is dropping toward the ground and then spreading out rapidly in all directions and that's really what caused the damaging wind signature that we picked up just southwest there of Jericho. So no severe weather left on Storm Tracker, just some uh, lightning strikes down to the south there into the upper valley. We do have some showers over northern New York, just north and west of the Saranac Lake area, drifting north to south. So generally we see a drying trend overnight for those of you who did see the rain. Looking at the temperature map though, you can tell it didn't rain in Burlington, still at 77 here, while most everybody else, especially east of the Green Mountains, falling into the low and middle 60s. But the cool down is on the way for all of us. You see the cooler air off to our north and east, 50s and even some 40s. It won't get quite that chilly, but certainly a lot cooler than we have been the past couple of days. Here's Storm Tracker for the rest of tonight. Probably some lingering showers in some areas, but we're mostly dry for the rest of tonight. You will notice, though, an increase in cloud cover, especially as you're waking up tomorrow morning. Now, the theme of the weekend is generally going to be more sunshine the farther north and west you are across the forecast area, more clouds the farther south and east you are. Notice how they stick around into the upper valley, most of the Connecticut River Valley as we head into Saturday afternoon. Should see a lot of clearing, though, for northern New York and the Champlain Valley. And then we could see some late day clearing down in southeastern areas and they start off with a little sunshine Sunday morning. But watch what happens in Sunday afternoon. The clouds come back from the east as a low pressure system develops over the Gulf of Maine, sending back clouds, maybe a shower or two, but I'm optimistic that most of these showers stay south and east of us, at least for the weekend. That changes though next week as we head into later Monday. You see this center of low pressure spinning right here in the Gulf of Maine. Notice the spin on the radar here. And what it actually does is sit there and stall out. So that actually throws back some moisture from the northeast as we head into Tuesday. Even Wednesday could be wet for the start of the Jazz Fest. Thursday into Friday, still seeing the chances for uh, scattered showers at least. Won't be a total washout, but certainly a chance of rain just about every day next week. We certainly could use it, though. Won't see much of it this weekend. A beautiful Saturday for northern New York. Clouds give way to sunshine. Lots of temperatures in the 60s there could touch 70 near Lake Champlain. Should be near 70 in Burlington as well. S lower 60s though as you head farther east and it could even stay in the 50s for our New Hampshire counties and especially toward the lower Connecticut River Valley. Only 59 tomorrow in Springfield with plenty of cloud cover. So it'll be a nice refreshing change from where we've been. 70s though for the Champlain Valley through Monday and then Tuesday we start to cool off with those showers. Should start to dry out by next weekend. <laughs>